guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a brilliant day. Now guys, today I've got my pinguicula, commonly known as the butterwort carnivorous plant in absolutely beautiful flower and bird. And this amazing plant here, before I, I talk any more, is obviously one of the carnivorous plants I've got three in my collection here. These two here are actually were gifted to me by my very uh, generous friend Shane Walsh, who lives here in Ireland. Hi Shane. And before I say any more, Shane, I'm I'm really sorry. I have some plants for you and cuttings that I haven't forgotten about. But um, because we're in the middle of this house move, and I've been as you can see there, loads of cuttings and and um, propagating on potting up and everything. So if you can bear with us, I'll be sending them to you in the next the next few days. So um, <laughs> bear with us, Shane. Thank you so much. But these plants were gifted to me by our very generous friend Shane Walsh, and. Um, these are two Irish butterworts and they're the Pinguicula grandiflora types. As you can see, they have slightly thinner leaves than, the, than this one, which is, this is the Pinguicula tina. And um, it, there's many, as you know, different types of Pinguiculas. This has the more rounded leaves. And this one, the Pinguicula grandiflora, which is the one from Ireland here, has the very slimmer leaves. But the both, as you can see, covered in lots and lots of tiny little flies. This is a good example here of the Pinguicula tina, um, tiny, tiny flies. So they're great for them annoying fungus gnats that um, you always see sort of flying around, um, or I should say walking around your soil. They're very tiny, and I find that these are probably what a lot of these are, which is great. And um, it's great for catching them naturally and um, doing what nature is meant to do obviously and um, here I'll just keep it, show you a bit more of the flower on this one it's absolutely beautiful and it has it's a lovely lilac flower and there's also one in bud there and I've made a video on this one last year when it was in flower too so I'll put links up above and also links down below to this little beauty in flower um, last year too. I got this from an amazing shop here in Ireland in Dublin called Urban Plant Life and I love that shop. It is amazing and also sorry to get boring you with all these links guys but links up above to that video um, of a tour around of Urban Plant Life because if you happen to live in Ireland or you visit Ireland or Dublin in the future please do pay them a visit. Um, Sam who is the, the owner, my friend Sam is a lovely lovely guy too and um, he does an amazing his garden centre is absolutely wonderful. Lovely to see um, see such wonderful garden centres here in Ireland. So um, do watch that video, guys. You'll see my excitement in the video, and um, also where I buy this beauty. But isn't it just incredible how how naturally these leaves are sort of they're not sort of sticky as such, although they probably are a little bit. They act almost like um, them sort of sheets you can get that hang up that trap the flies. And although I'm not somebody who like, you know, I, I follow a vegan lifestyle, so it might seem a bit hypocritical having carnivorous plants that eat flies, but it is doing what nature is meant to do. So, so I don't see this as cruelty. This is actually natural, but um, sort of gives you a bit of a bit of a thought on it, you know. <laughs> But I wanted to share the beauty with you all. I just love plants and uh, everything in general. So guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power. As always from Ireland. And until the next video guys, bye.